Currently, there's, there's four generations that call this land home, and we believe that it belongs to the future generations every bit as much as any of it would belong to us. Our operation here is basically a cow-calf operation. We use tall grass native prairie and have significant amount of tame converted cropland forages that we use to complement and extend the grazing period of available forage for our cow herd. This not only is good for the production of beef, but is good ecologically in that it improves water quality and improves and maintains the soil health. Erosion, loss of soil, has always been one of my greatest concerns because soil is necessary for any of the other resources to, to be productive as well, like animals, plants, water, and basically natural resources. And the ability for soil to infiltrate water to restore the organic matter of the soil was necessary before I could hope to establish a healthy grassland. And so we used cover crops, legumes, soil building plants to improve the soil health, begin to bring the organic matter back and create a healthy situation that would let us be successful at establishing a permanent plant community that would be useful for generations in the future. We have no tilled land at this time. Everything is in a uh, permanent vegetative community of plants. My philosophy is that those natural resources are what we need to manage because that is what sustains the livestock, which are what we have to market and sell economically. I tried to use the resources wisely and not exploit them because that is the foundation of a successful agricultural enterprise. It's, it's a balance between sustaining the productivity and health of the land and exploiting the land for pure profit. Agriculture and business are affected by what happens on the landscape. It seems fitting to me that we should all have an understanding and a duty to care for our environment. So one of the early things I learned about range management was take half, leave half. And I kind of have tried to do that with every resource on our property that, that we utilize, whether it's a timber resource or water resources or whatever, is that, that we use them wisely so as not to deplete the productivity of that. And one of the things that we've done is limiting the amount of available forage to cattle through a rotational grazing system. We do that so that the cattle lose the ability to be highly selective or eat what is preferred. They learn to eat what is in front of them. And if we can take a problem as we perceive it as an encroaching plant that's less than desirable, and turn it into a resource that produces beef for us, we've accomplished several things. One of it is converting something that was previously useless to us and a problem into a resource, as well as controlling the spread of that less than desirable plant. I believe conservation districts are so effective at sharing information with people about how to use wisely the resources that they are trying to make a livelihood from. And I think that we can't make, certainly not federal regulations, rules, or programs to address things because there is so much diversity ecologically, it needs to be done at the local level through local folks that understand what's going on in their area. For four generations to live here is pretty unique. And my father told me that, that he just had a dream about being able to do that. He said, you had a vision of how to accomplish that. My kids have the passion to continue that. And I see my grandkids as having great opportunity to be able to, to continue to live here and call this home. It's satisfying to know that, that what I've taught my children will continue on.
When I was uh, maybe just a very young teenager, my dad gave me a copy of a Sand County Almanac. And he said, uh, this belonged to your grandmother. I'm gonna give it to you. And it's much like the Bible. It's full of truth. Your responsibility is to find that. And I've been doing that for, for the rest of my life.